you guys. So we're going to talk about these two knives here. Or this one in particular. This is a Yo Jumbo. I finally say, you know what, let me go and get myself one of these. Pretty much the bigger upscale version for the Yo Jumbo too. And this one, this one just, I think out of all the spider cool knives I have, which I really don't have a lot, I said this one is my, has to be my favorite. Even though, even though I just won't really call it a um, practical EDC, but this is something I would definitely carry every single day. Look at the sheer size of it. I just love how it fits the hand. It has a nice ergonomics of this. Really nice with this one. It's really comfortable. Like you really like feel the full experience of the um the whole tool in your hand. Still have some handle space here, which I really prefer when it comes to regular knives, non karambits non ring the knives what i like to see i really like to have that bit of handle space poking out on the end i mean a lot of these a lot of big knives are like that anyway so is there a little bit of uh, modification of mine a lot of people was complaining about this uh middle pc right but i find it not to give me any trouble maybe because the size of my big old hands yeah, I've been telling me that shit a lot lately, I know. But, you know, my big hands is like, still have a, it, just, it, do, it doesn't interfere with me. Just don't, just don't, it doesn't bother me at all. That's why I'd rather just drop the one in the end. And then it, when I did drop the one in the end, it, it looked more um, aesthetically pleasing. Got an extra grip here. It just lends me into a nice perfect grip. The hands really locked into here, right? Really nice and tight. But yeah, drop shot. Really wavy drop shot. Deep carry pocket clip. You can get these off of Amazon for like nine dollars, eight dollars sometimes. Come in black and titanium. It's milled out so you can um, reduce weight and you can like clean it. But personally me, I'd rather see backspaces in my knives. Even if it doesn't, even if it don't have a skull crack, at least put a backspace in it. And another personal pet peeve about me with knives like just knives that don't have backspaces, which I think is personally kind of lazy, is that if you're gonna leave your knife milled out like this right it's best that me saying i really like to see if the um if the stoppers was more of like a design or a shape it would have been cool if i if you could if these these stoppers here wasn't like the hourglass shape you know just bring a little bit more eye catchiness since you're gonna go with this rope that's just a pet peeve of mine as well nice for real nevertheless we still get custom box pieces and stuff so came in really nice and sharp it's like a little cut test here piece of paper and sharp kind of playing the blade closer yeah really nice and sharp mine's came in real nice and sharp
But yeah, and then I have the, my own one here. Yo Jimbo too, you guys see already. Modded. Skull cracking backspacer. Done by DNT Custom. On um, Instagram. Check him out. He's from Russia. He really good. He really, no. Is Russia or Germany? He's from Germany. And he's really good at making mods for all these knives, man. He's really good at them. Then, we have the um, Yojimbo too. In size comparison with the uh, Yojimbo. Yeah, this is very significant in, le in length. Like, very dramatic. Look at that. When I look at these two, especially when it comes to like this end end of the blade, this is what the um this is where I believe personally right here for these two blades is where they began to create this one, in my own opinion. When they started to upscale it, okay, those two ends are just very identical. Very identical um middle where the belly should be or could be so this is this is my thought about it for you i really like how low these rides in the pocket like the, the knife almost disappear into the pocket like they stop a ball like here you have like this much knife and like that more knife that more knife showing in your pants that's another good thing too. I'm gonna get the same back spacer. Just like this. Nothing brown, nothing uh copper though. It remains in brass. Line this one in the back. Maybe I'll mod the scales too. I don't know. Yeah. Just say it's comparing to this one. Now a lot of people been complaining about this PC too in the back. That's the um. A lot of people complaining about the um. We call this piece again. The Ricasso. A lot of people is complaining about the Ricasso being in the way when you close the blade. But I, I find it that it don't bother me. Like I can close it fine. Get out the way fast. Thumb flick. We don't matter. Yeah. Yeah, so this don't bother me one bit, man. Would I probably file it down? I probably not. And when it comes to self defense now, when we talk about self defense, Pick something like this. Go like this. If this is too big, I'm smaller. Smaller blade. That can work in right too. Fits a hand nice. <laughs> Talk about fits in hand. Since I have this in my hand now, this feels really tiny. Like really tiny. Like when I hold a Yojimbo, I have to like find a grip. Even I could catch it quick, like something I catch myself like, like overly fine in the grip so I can have a good grasp on it, which I do. Still have some of that skull cracker sticking out to use, stick right there. But still have to like find a nice sweet pinpoint to do those pinpoint cutting and accuracy slashing or whatever the case is. But for this one here, bigger one this as soon as I pick it up in my hand and you fix no grip or any of that it's just there and if I'm doing this is me just feeling it all free because the G10 and this one was very aggressive way more aggressive than the UO2 this one came off feeling like 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 some rough hardened denim which is cool I ain't complaining about it it gives off that nice little look and 
I don't think you really see that in camera good, but it gives it off like this nice little texturized look. Instant. 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 What I'm going to do too is. I'm going to think I'm going to me some pool noodles and do some cut tests on some pool noodles and for some of my blades I have record that and show you guys and this will be the first blade I test while cutting out a pool noodle this will be the first yeah Ain't nothing much else I could say about this knife, it's just that if you could get one of these in your hand, this would be like this is a good a good catch for you. Some might say or oh, ain't ain't practical or whatnot, but you can make this practical. Right? You can make this practical. And you can go on this pro open. I won't don't cut open no cans with this. Okay, I could get that in that sense. I ain't built for that. But this final tip here, you just ain't built for that type of cotton cans and shit like that. I get that. You know? So you might want to look for something more robust in the tip. Something like this is my old caveman here. I customize. Dark bronze, the washers. But that's for another video where I'm going to do a comparison between these two. Caveman and the U2. Give them in size, comparison and all too. We'll have this one featured in the next video. I did the mods on these and this one. Because I wanted to look primitive and old and primal. It's a little smooth, but next video. Aye man, ain't nothing much I could say, so y'all take you.